there is a whole new set of reputation epics that you can get at level 60 now and they are pretty easy to get even solo players can get it so let's take a look at them timber mohold is a reputation that you can get in actual vanilla and it is usually pretty freaking useless you can get a couple leather working items that are kind of okay a couple blues and you can get of course the medicine pouch super cool the medicine pouch you know that you can use it in pvp you ice block and you heal yourself that's basically the whole thing sadly back in vanilla proper that reputation used to be like cosmetic pretty much useless nobody really cared for it there were like two items on it that were good and that was it but right now there is actually an upside to it because with a little label grease you can get the new versions of it and here's the thing boys it actually doesn't require reputation for a lot of them, believe it or not. Of course, the Timber Mohol, they are the guys in Felwood, you know, the guys you get into, into the tunnel to Wintergrass to, and you find reputation killing a bunch of furballs that live outside of it, both in Winterfall, Wintergrasp, and in, not Wintergrasp, Winter Spring, and in Felwood itself, they drop like these necklaces, the mobs that you kill, and you turn them in and you get rep. Now, that little part of it is important because that's gonna come into play for the actual uh, reputation tradings that you're gonna do. These right here are items that you can get from the Timber Mohol reputation because you can craft them with a uh, with a pattern that you get from timber more reputation most of them are revered or honored they are all leather working craftable items but the thing is that you can upgrade them to epics right here all it takes is the old item some hide and necklaces so these necklaces you kill them from the mobs i'm gonna there's these little furballs all over winter spring that you can kill and you can get the necklaces from them they, it doesn't take too long getting 30 of these it means killing like i don't know 60 mobs you can crank it out in two hours one hour you just gotta buy the item in the auction house if you are not a leather worker and you get two cured rocked hides and you take one winterfall spirit beard 30 of them i mean or 20 in the case of these two items down here we're gonna talk about them in a minute and that's pretty much it it's super easy to do and it, it's great that you gotta farm the necklaces anyway because you gotta get friendly with them to even buy the item because they will not talk to you until you are friendly so I guess that helps. It really doesn't take very long, especially if you do the quest. There is like three quests in Felwood that you can pick up from one of the guys on the entrance and you're gonna get halfway there. It, it doesn't take very long to get friendly with them. You might as well get it while you're farming for the necklaces. So let's take a look at the items though. This right here is gonna be the new pretty much best in slot item for the bear look at that it has extra armor on it it has 14 defense which usually defense was terrible but 14 defense times 4 because you get the attack power bonus now that is actually what 56 attack power that took me a while it has 1% hit on it which I don't know like my bear is already going overboard with with extra hit I, I got way more hit than I need already but 30 stamina, 10, 10 agility, agility is a great stat, lots of armor, this is looking really really good. Remember guys, in vanilla bonus armor is actually worth uh, a lot more for the bear because the bear multiplier is affected by bonus armor in vanilla. The next part of the set, which is also 12 defense, extra armor and 1% hit. Why do they put hit on everything? Like we're already going over the cap, I don't get it, but once again, 12, so that's 12 times 4, that is 44, 48, sorry, 48 attack power right here that you're getting for free 10 agility 33 stamina 100 bonus armor this is also amazing it may not be the very 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 best for threat because there's a bunch of rogue gear that you can get that has a lot of threat but god damn that's tanky as heck also you gotta keep in mind it is either this or the devil sword set and the devil sword set is super expensive usually i don't know what it's going for right now can we even buy it oh yeah you can buy it there you go Ah, it, it got a lot cheaper actually. It's 180 gold and 85 for the gauntlets. But if you look at that, it's 1% crit and way less stamina and way less armor and like about the same amount of attack power. So this is actually really, really good. Sadly, there is no way you can use this for DPS. That's only a bear item, but... You know what? Bears need more gear. There is never enough bear gear in the game. There's always like weird slots that you cannot really fill with anything because you gotta get like rogue gear to compensate for it. It's kind of weird. It does a lot of help to get like a, a little more itemization for druids in general because druids take leather and they take very weird stats compared to other classes. So there's rarely like a good item for them. Then of course the other leather item which is the DPS part of it. You got the Ferocity of the Timber mod, which is 26 Strength and 17 Agility. Sadly, this will only be usable for Leather Workers, but if we take a look at here, my Valor set, which is, I think, my pre red best in slot right now, it is better than the one from Sunken Temple, so I got 14 Strength and 7 Agility, and I think that's amazing. So this one has 26 Strength and 17 Agility, so... 
Yeah, if you can get your hands on this as a DPS, this is best in slot. Maybe if you need hit, you're gonna need something else, but this is absolutely bonkers. It is almost 1% crit off the bat with the agility and 26 strength. That's so much attack power, you cannot go wrong with it. And the counterpart of the set, also for leather working right here, 20 strength, 10 agility, 14 stamina, and 3 weapon damage. Now, the 3 weapon damage, I don't really know. If it's gonna affect the druid, probably not. But actually, three weapon damage, it may sound weird. It is actually way better than three attack power. This is intended for rogues and more specifically for a dagger rogue. So if you're hitting every 1.5 seconds, you know, this divided by 1.5, you get like two damage, two DPS worth of weapon right here. The same amount of DPS on attack power would be something like, what, let's see, 14 times. This is effectively 30 attack power that the rogue is getting, more or less, as a lot. 20 strength and 10 agility for the gloves. They are also really, really strong. Like, the stats of this thing is amazing. If you are a leather worker and you're a rogue, you should definitely get this. Even for a cat, I think this is really good cat gear. And once again, I think this is really good for the reason that there is, uh, of now that we got the 3% hit with the uh, rune weapon, the weapon skill, whatever, we don't really need a lot of hit anymore, so any hit, any gear that is really good and doesn't have hit on it, I think is gonna be a, a, on a premium right now. There will also be two exclusive blacksmithing items. They are crafted with reputation patterns, but here's the thing, right? Even if it requires you to be a blacksmith to use it, you don't need the reputation. You can buy it from somebody else that farm the reputation, they can make the belt for you, and then you can trade it in, and as long as you're a blacksmith, you're gonna be able to use it. So they got a male belt with 64 attack power, that's an awful lot of attack power. Sadly, that's the only thing that it has, so probably not great. The boots, on the other hand, does shaman gear right here, 9 defense, 1% hit, uh, 23 stamina, that's a very tanky boots right there. Of course, shamans have shields, so defense is an amazing stat for them, and they also get attack power from it anyway, so the boots are probably gonna be best in slot. Finally, we got three exclusive items for tailoring, and I think by far these are gonna be like the, the strongest. Every caster is gonna want a piece of this. Also, every caster has tailoring already, so I think it's gonna be the most popular too. Look at this, 1% crit, 27 spell power, 15 intellect. How is this not best in slot? All the casters are going over the cap on hit already and like all the shoulders that are good have hit on it, so this is amazing. Then you got the boots that are for healing, there's 44 healing spell power right there, that's molten core levels of gear, and 14 intellect and 14 spirit, very respectable right there. And finally the belt, now we know what the competition for the belt is gonna be like in previous. This is supposedly the pre best in slot belt before we find out about the reputations, which is 1% hit, 12 spell power, 11 intellect. And this right here, it is 1% hit, 25 spell power and 22 intellect, so your best in slot got a lot better. This is probably gonna be as good as your, uh, your actual tier set. Of course, the tier set is gonna have a tier bonus, so you're eventually gonna go for the tier set, but this is also probably gonna last you a long, long time. Overall, I think it's a great addition. I think the Timber Mall reputation was by far the one that needed the most love, and I got a bit of a question for Agrend. Why didn't you put a, an item that turns you into a football? Come on, dude. How come the Alliance can turn into a football and we can't? It, it's gonna take you three lines of code to make me happy. You know I am never happy, Agrend. I am never happy. Make me happy. Put, put the football gun into the game. I, I wanna be like a football in Orgrimmar. I wanna be like d -d 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 all day. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, Agrend. You put the football item into the game and I will not complain for a month. Okay, I can do a month of not complaining if you put the football guy to me to the game. I think it's fair. I think you get a good deal here. I would take it. Subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord, and thank you for watching.